Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft 1.3.1 server and this server is going to be using Hamachi so there's no port forwarding involved and port forwarding is a bit fiddly anyway so Hamachi is the easiest way now two things you're going to need for the video is actually have Hamachi just download that, it should be in the description, it'll be the first link you're also going to need Notepad++, that's the second link make sure you've got these two installed on your computer if you've now got these two installed make a new folder on your desktop and call that minecraft server this is where you're going to put all the files and run it off you shouldn't have anything at the moment and it should be blank you don't need to open that yet now the third link in the description will take you to the bucket wiki it's your web page and you're going to need to download this here under windows the first step and it should be to say craft bucket recommended build just click on that and it will start downloading it should be a dot jar file it will take about a minute to download if that now just click show in folder and minimize chrome just drag it onto your desktop and then drag it into your minecraft server folder you just made open up that folder we're going to need to rename this so just click on it once and rename and we're going to take everything out and just leave craft bucket all in lowercase and we can exit that for now we're then going to need original notepad to find original notepad because most of the time it won't be there just search programs files put in notepad or just put note and it should be the first one go back onto chrome go onto the web page and there should be a blue box here you have to highlight everything in here copy it paste it into the notepad and save this file as so save as in capital letters run dot and then in lowercase bat so bat which is a windows bat file and save as type as all files so it should automatically save it in the minecraft server folder because that's the recent most recent folder you've opened if you don't know how to find that just click on desktop minecraft server and save it in there now if you've got a 64 bit machine you're going to have to modify one thing to find out what machine you have just go on computer properties and it should say here and system type so mine's a 64 bit operating system so I'm going to close mine so if you have a 64 bit like mine you're going to have to change one thing if you have a 32 bit don't do what I do but if you have a 64 just highlight this copy it can minimize or close this Chrome now, you don't need it. I'm going to close mine, open it in the Minecraft server folder. So, only do this if you have a 64 bit machine. Edit. You can highlight the first program files here, which is in orange, and control V to paste, and that's all you're going to need to do. So, I can't stress enough, only do that if you have a 64 bit machine. Now we're going to have to run the server for the first time. It should say there's a few errors. That's good. That's because it needs to generate the files. So it should start. You should start seeing some files being made in this folder. So once it starts saying preparing spawn area, you can close it. And you should get a load of properties files, text documents, all sorts of things. Now we're going to need to this is where Hamachi comes into play so open up Hamachi and just keep, put it to the side of here so you can still see it just click on server properties and this is where you need notepad++ so edit with notepad++ and you see a load of different things in it you should have a name the port you're using the seed we're going to need the server IP, so mine is 5.201.202.3 and if you want to use a world that you've already created you're going to have to find out the seed of that world and then just paste it into there or put it into there you're not really going to need to change anything at the moment, you can change the name if you want and don't put whitelist on at the moment because can get quite complicated so just save this file here 
and close. You don't need Hamachi open now. If you don't know how to make a, a network on Hamachi, just click create a new network there and put the ID and password and tell your friends it so they can join it. So what we're going to need to do now is op yourself and any of the friends that you want to join. So at the moment I just op yourself. Click edit with notepad. And so this is my Minecraft account. Save it and close it. So this is basically all you need to do. Your server is running now. Uh, I wouldn't put a whitelist on at the moment. I think I've already said that. These are the three worlds. If you want to rename your world, delete these first. So you just click delete on them. So pretend I'm not there. And then change the name and then run it like we did earlier. So it will generate three new worlds. That's all you need to do if you want to rename it or make a new world. And then from then it will just run off that world. Okay, band players are all in there. You can just put their name in if you don't want some people to join. Plugins are sort of like kind of mods, but not as they don't change the game as much. To find new plugins, just go on Bucket website and just download them and drag and drop them into here. See, at the moment you won't have any in there. Okay, so I'll just tell you how to stop the server. So I'm just going to run it. It should start running off that port. We'll say in a second. So yeah, it's running off the log me in Hamachi, which is good. If you see that, you know it's probably most likely going to work. So and it will stop preparing the spawn error. So I'll be back in a sec once it's all loaded. So as you can see, mine is done. Mine says that it's servers overloaded, but that's just because I've got a few things running. I'm using Camtasia Studio as well, which is can use up to start the computer. If you keep seeing this here, that means you're probably going to need to use a different laptop to play because your computer can't handle too much going on, or you're going to have to reduce the amount of people you're allowing in. So if you want to stop the server after everyone's played, just type in stop, and it will save the chunks. Never click the X button because it will never, it won't save anything that's changed. So I'm going to do that now because obviously I don't need to save the chunks. But don't do that until it says it's saved. Okay. So a few problems that you can encounter with these servers is if your friends can't get in and how much he's working, you can see that there's a green light on and there's a direct tunnel on Hamachi and it's just not letting them in. What could be happening is your firewall is blocking them to connecting with your computer. What I'd do is just turn off your firewall temporarily to see if that makes any difference. To turn off your firewall, you just go on your control panel and it should be just search control panel for firewall. I won't do that now, that's pretty obvious. And just turn it off and see if they can join then and then you can work out how to, to keep the firewall on but allow them through as well. Okay, another thing you need to do to join the server, uh, I'll just open a notepad to show you. This is what you're going to have to type into the server or the direct connect or the add server. Bit. Just type in your IP and then type in the port. So, actually, I'll show you on the properties, it's a bit easier. So, type in this IP here and then type in 25565 which is the server port for Minecraft uh, you're also going to need uh, let me show you you're going to need one of these so don't put this into here now but I'm just showing you what you need to put into Minecraft so it's 25565 like that that's what you need to type with the two dots as well I've completely forgot what that's called so yeah okay so this is the end of the tutorial if it did help leave a like uh, I was also thinking of doing a tech it server tutorial, but I'm not sure how many people will want to see that. If you do want to see that, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I'll see you next time.